Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by Maroon 5 called The Sun. And, and we're going to start out, actually, there, there, there's some really cool funky guitar licks through, through that intro, and what you may want to do is kind of play around with 2nd fret on the G string, and the open G string to kind of get that sound, kind of that 2-0-2-2-0-2-0-2-2-0-2, and then there's a couple keyboard licks you may want to follow where you play open E, and then 1st fret on the B string, and then 2nd fret on the G string, and then back to open G, and then second fret on the G. So you may want to kind of play around with those notes, or another option actually to kind of get that E, C, A, is to go third fret on the B string and kind of do that as a bend, and then go to first fret on the B, and then second fret on the G. So you may want to kind of play around with that, kind of that two, oh, two, two, oh, two, oh, two, two, oh, two, three, bend, one, two, oh, two. So you may want to kind of play around with that. And if you take the flat of your right hand, actually, you may want to kind of play around with, like, laying it down the saddle. And get kind of a, a little bit of a muting thing. So you may want to kind of play around with those notes. But then the chords that back up that intro actually start on an A minor chord. And we play A minor. First finger goes the B string on the first fret. Second finger goes the D string on the second fret. Third finger goes the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go into a C major chord. All you really got to do is move your third finger from the G string second to the A string third. So now I got first finger on the B string first fret, second finger on the D string second, third finger on the A string third. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a D major chord. And we play D major. First finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that's, that'll give you a clearer sound. Now. It's called D major. It sounds really, really happy. And that's basically our intro progression, but it's also kind of our verse through the song. It's kind of the A minor, C, D major, D major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And so we took the A minor and just tried that like you have down, down, up. But if we tried that through our verse progression, we have an A minor, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. And something else that I would think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on the first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the A minor, you can play an open A string for, for your bass note on that chord. So bass down, up, up, down on the C chord, you have an A string for your bass on the C. So C with an A bass down, up, up down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down. And on the D chord, you have a D string for your bass. So D bass down, up, up, down, up. So we tried our, our verse with our basses. We have A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, D with an A bass down. course we go to an F major chord and we play F major. If you know the bar F major, we'll talk about an easy way to play this in a minute, but if you do your bar across the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, it sounds like F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Um, a lot of times if you're just starting out there and just want to avoid the bar chord, you can substitute for that as something called F major 7. When we play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, actually kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds like F major 7. And then from the F major 7, we're going to be going to the C major, and then we go to an A minor chord, and then we go to a G major chord, and we play G major. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all of those together, that sounds like G major chord, that sounds really, really happy. So we got F major, C major, A minor, G major, and we repeat 
that three times, and at the end we end up with F major and another F major. But then we go to a B minor chord. There's a couple different ways to play this chord. You can kind of take your first finger bar and go across the second fret, second finger on the B string third, third finger on the D string fourth, pinky on the B string or G string on the fourth fret. It's a B note. <laughs> um, and if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. A lot of times with bar chords, you can take the, the few couple strings actually make smaller versions of this chord. So another way to play B minor would be taking the first finger and going to the high E second fret, second finger on the B string third fret, and third finger on the G string fourth fret. And if you strum the top three or even the top four strings, that's another way you could play B minor. Or if you're a little bit more adventurous, <laughs> you could keep the first finger on the high E second, second finger on the B string third, and take the third finger and go to the D string on the fourth fret. And then take the pinky and go to the G string on the fourth fret, and kind of end up with a, a little bit thicker B minor on the top four strings. Another option that could be really cool is substituting in something called B minor seven. And the way you play B minor seven, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the high string on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high string, then that, that, that'll give you your clear sound with that. And that's called B minor seven. And then from the B minor seven, we're going to be going to an E major chord. We play E major. First finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord. It sounds really, really happy. So we tried our chorus with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have F with a down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down. If we tried it with our basses on the F major 7, you'd have the D string for your bass on that chord. Um, if you're using the far F major, you'd have the low E string for your bass. Low E bass down. And then on the G, you'd have the low E string for your bass. So low E bass down. Low E bass down. And then on the B minors, we, we'd have the A string for the bass. <laughs> so the A bass down. Up, down. A bass down. Up, up, down. And on the E major, you'd have the low Try the chorus with our bass in. We're gonna have F with the bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, the R with an A bass down. part. Now another strum pattern I would think about kind of doing with the tune because Maroon 5 is so funky <laughs> um, is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And, and right now if you're tapping your foot to the beat, our down, down, up, up, down is kind of dividing that beat into two parts. One, two, one, two. And that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns to work with is long down down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up. Down up, down up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down up, down up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So all together, you got down.
to our verse is our A minor and C could half, and then we do the whole strum pattern on the D. So one way to half the A minor and the C is to do just the down, down, down on those two chords, and then we could do the D with the whole strum pattern. So we kind of tried that, but through our verse part, we had A minor with down, 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 C down. kind of make that kind of a bass and then a down down up for the C's and then make it a bass down down up up down down up down for the D. So kind of throw it in the bass note that first down on each chord. And C with the bass down down D the bass You could do A minor with kind of a bass, bass, down, down, up, C with a bass, bass, down, down, D with a bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, make it sound even funkier. So let's get out A minor with a bass, bass, down, down, C with a bass, bass, down, down, D with a bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, A minor, bass, bass, down. it through our chorus, the weird part is that we're, we're going to end up having almost all those chords until we get to that very last F chord and then we get our whole pattern. So we tried it with just our, our down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and kind of the halfing thing, we have that with a down, 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 C, down, 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 down. Actually, it almost sounds like the bass player goes to C, and then from the C, then we go to an E major chord, and then we go to a C major chord, and then we go back to the E major chord. And this is a little weird though, because in the bass part, actually, on the E chord, it almost sounds like there's a G sharp in the bass. And one way to do that is if you lift off the third finger from the E chord, that's something called E7, and that almost kind of frees you up to kind of make your pinky go to the low E string on, on the fourth fret which is a G-sharp note, so that's something called an E7 slash G-sharp. So you may want to kind of think about kind of using your low E string for your bass on that chord. And, and that's a little weird, and on the C chord actually, it sounds like there's a G in the bass, which is very hip too. So on the C chord, you could do first finger on the B string first, second finger on the D string second, third finger on the low E string on the third fret, and then take the pinky on the A string on the third, and then that kind of covers that G note in the C chord. So, so you can kind of use the low E string for, for a C slash G, so a C with a, with, a, with a G in the bass. Um, so that's a little weird through that. So we tried just our down, down, up, up, down, up through our, our bridge part. Then we had down, A minor, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up. Down, up, up, down, 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 down
7 slash G sharp, 7 still to G sharp, and then the C slash G. Then we have A minor with the down, 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 C with the down, 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 E down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, C down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, E down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, E minor down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, E down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, C down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, E down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, E down, or you could add bass. To that, and then you have A. We added basses to that. We have A minor, C, kind of doing the halving thing, and then that E slash G sharp with low E bass, C slash G with low E bass. We'd be going back into our chorus parts. So we tried that with our 16th with our basses. We'd have F for the bass, bass down, down, C bass, bass down, down, A minor, G, F, C, A minor, G, F, C, A minor, G, F, E minor. that F B minor E again. So we got F, E minor, E major. And then we end with kind of our, our verse part actually is kind of kind of our outro. So we tried that with that 16th with the basses. We'd have A minor, C, D major. And if you want to add in your own part to that cool jam, actually, you could use something called an A minor pentatonic scale, which would sound great over this progression. And the way you play an A minor pentatonic is if you go low E string on the fifth fret, that's an A note. And pentatonic just means five notes. You're actually playing five notes for the scale. You're playing A's and C's and B's and E's and G's, and then you start over. But there's a really cool, easy pattern actually called pattern number one of pentatonic. And we could play low E string on the fifth fret and then eighth fret. And on the A string you go 5 to 7, on the D string you go 5 to 7, on the G string you go 5 to 7, on the B string you go 5 to 8, and on the high E string you're going 5 to 8. So you're kind of playing A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C. Now there's all kinds of ways to kind of mix those notes up, and this kind of becomes like an alphabet, and actually I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you kind of see my video on talking with the guitar, although it's working the E minor pentatonic instead of A minor pentatonic, but there are all kinds of cool little licks that you can kind of take as like little words to say. So, so if you're familiar with hammer-ons, you can kind of play the first note and kind of put, put your other finger down to carry the sound, and that can be kind of a cool little lick idea, kind of doing hammer-ons through the scale. Or you can do pull-offs, where you kind of play the, 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 the forward note and kind of let your finger fall off the string. So I'm playing eighth fret on the high E, letting my finger fall off the string to the fifth fret. So you could take that as kind of something else to say. And then from there, you could try slide legs, which I love slide legs. Kind of working those same notes, it's just a different way to say those notes. And then you could try down slides, as kind of an idea. And something else that we kind of did in the intro, like actually, was kind of that... that that bend idea, so you can even take, take, take these notes and then you kind of try bends. Or if you do like a lot of repeated bends, that's something called vibrato, which can be a cool idea too, on, on any note. Um, or that there's kind of a violin term I like stealing called double stops, where you try and find places where you can play those notes at two notes at the same time is kind of the idea of a double stop. So you can try and follow the pattern. So then you can take all those ideas and kind of see what you can say with it. 
and, and for yourself, actually, if you're just kind of playing on your own, actually, sometimes it can be kind of cool to hit the, the chord. So you can kind of hear what, what that lick sounds like in relationship to the chord. play around with too. But that's the basics of how you could strum through and kind of play some lead over the sun by Maroon 5. So good luck!